you guys, I'm Jasmine, and today I am starting my revisiting the 90s childhood memory series where basically I'm talking about everything 90s related from food to TV shows to different experiences had within 90s kids along with toys and other topics. So today we're going to talk about a topic that very much enveloped most of my 90s child life and that is being a picky eater. And in honor of this video I would like to give a shout out to the main picky eater DW or Winifred Reed big ups you know what I'm saying actually did a costume recreation of the character which you guys can check that video out it should be coming really soon or it should be already uploaded we're going to talk about different foods within being a picky eater that i did not care for when i was a kid some of them i still don't care for and then some of them i have changed let me know in the comments what foods you didn't like when you were a kid chime in because i'm curious were we the same type of picky eater or were you more developed okay because I know for me personally it was only a select few things that I wanted to taste okay first thing tomatoes I was not a fan and I feel like the main reason is because they just tasted bland <laughs> there's no other way for me to say it I did not like tomatoes in salad if we had spaghetti sauce on the spaghetti well when we ate spaghetti and had like tomato chunks in there i would not eat those pieces i was not a fan i remember my grandmother used to make salmon patties with rice and she would put tomatoes on top absolutely not but if you were to feed that to me now as an adult i would eat it however i will say i also season my food no offense to her. Rest her soul. No offense to her. But she did not season the tomato or the rice. It was just bare minimum bones, okay? She did not season the rice, which rice is another thing I did not care for when I was a kid. The only way I eat I ate rice was with red beans and rice, black eyed peas and rice because it had salt on it. Or I would eat the chicken soup rice. That's the only rice I would eat. But if you gave me some raw rice, not raw, it, it was cooked. But if you gave me rice and you did not season it any, I did not like it. I did not care for it. I was not eating it. Shrimp. Shrimp looked too much close to a bug for me. When I was a kid, I used to be terrified that they was going to get up and walk away or try to crawl up me. I was not a fan. I did not want to partake in it. It took me, I think when I was a, mm, like fried shrimp, I liked, but the raw, the not raw, but the shrimp that was not battered, I did not really care for. Bell peppers, could not stand them. Hated the way they tasted. Again, whenever I had them, there wasn't any seasoning. So yeah, I, I really did not like them in anything. Onions, did not like the way they smelt, did not like the way they tasted, but not and I'm older. Burgers, pizza, sandwiches, pasta. Love to have them. Broccoli. Man, the only way I ate broccoli is if you put a whole bunch of cheese on it and melted it, okay? Melted it. And if you put ranch on it. That was one thing about me. If I had ranch, I could eat most vegetables if I had ranch. But by itself, absolutely not. Mushrooms. Did not like the look. Did not like the texture. Mac and cheese. So surprisingly, I did not like homemade mac and cheese. I only liked mac and cheese that was made from the box or in the little craft mac and cheese cups or I liked mac and cheese at specific restaurants like Ponderosa. Ponderosa had good mac and cheese to me and it was creamy. I really miss that place. I remember when I used to smuggle fried chicken out of there in Ziploc bags as a kid good times but anyways we're we'll come out with a restaurant revisit 90s okay <laughs> mac and cheese was not good to me until I got to be a teen and I had my aunt's mac and cheese. And I've had other people's mac and cheese. I also make pretty good mac and cheese myself. But 
Mm. I usually like hot sauce on mine because that is one of the few ways I eat it. Sometimes people don't season their mac and cheese enough for me, you know? Also, if you guys want this Sh Rugrats Charlotte Money Move shirt, I will have it linked down below in the description box if it is still available. Feel free to check out my Tee Public affiliate store, which has an assortment of cartoon shirts from the 90s, stuff like that, that were created by different everyday artists. Check out those items because you support me as well as you support the artists who made the shirts. Other thing I didn't care for was potatoes and mainly that was because I choked on one before and then I kind of banned potatoes from my diet because I was scared they was gonna take me off the game. It was a tough time. It took me years till I could eat potatoes again. Mashed potatoes. Don't argue with me on it. I didn't start eating mashed potatoes again until maybe like four years ago. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but actually I do know what it was. Mashed potatoes always gave me the concept that someone chewed up some potatoes, spit it out, and they were feeding me like I'm a freaking bird. And I didn't like that. I didn't appreciate that. And that's why I have never been a mashed potato stan until recently. Now I absolutely love mashed potatoes. But back in the day, you couldn't tell me anything to get me to eat that slop. I was not touching it. I was not looking at it. Don't let it dare touch my plate. I didn't want it. But again, like I said, I've changed my ways. I've changed. But back then, did not care for it. Turkey. The only turkey that I liked was, I think it's the smoked turkey from Honey Baked Ham. That is the only turkey that I liked back in the day because... <sighs> Most of the time, whenever I had turkey, like, if somebody cooked it themselves, flavorless. Unseasoned. And turkey lunch meat, I kind of stayed away from it in general because I thought it was going to taste the same way as the unseasoned turkey that I have had. Listen, listen. I'm just saying, whenever I had turkey, it just tasted very seasonless and like I was literally chewing on meat. And when I say chewing on meat, I mean, like, there is no flavor. I, someone drug this turkey in from the land, killed it, took the feathers off, cut it up, and they just tossed it in the oven. They did not put no love into it. They put no seasoning on it. And when I tasted it, I was just like, what bare minimum trash is this? And why would you give it to me without no flavor? Again, I was not messing with turkey because it was unseasoned. Milk. I still don't mess with milk now. I used to have cereal. They used to force me to drink the milk, but I would sneak and pour it out. Like, I used to hate when they would be like, eat the cereal and then you drink the, the milk from the cereal seasoning or sugar or whatever. That made me nauseous. I was definitely a person. I would put some cereal in there and I would pour just enough to wet the cereal. That way it's like, it still get that softness to it, but it's not enough where it's like, I get an overwhelming amount of cereal in my spoon when I scoop it up. But when I tell you, I still don't like milk to this day. I've never been a milk drinker, never been a milk lover. Don't care if it was chocolate milk, Nesquik, strawberry, I was not messing with it. Absolutely not. Tacos. Surprisingly, I was not a taco person. I didn't start liking tacos until I had Taco Bell. Homemade tacos was not my gig. I really did not like homemade tacos. And again, it really, really depends on what you put on your tacos. I will say, again, now that I'm older, I absolutely love tacos. I love making homemade tacos. But when I was a kid, no. Because the only thing I really was going to have on there was pretty much beef and cheese. Potentially lettuce, depending on how I was feeling. But most of the time, I I did not have that on there. No, I don't even think I had salsa like that. Yeah, so tacos was not my thing. Meatloaf. Meatloaf was always nasty. <laughs> it did not matter. I think in my entire life, I have had good meatloaf, and that was because my aunt had made it. A part of me feels like I made a good meatloaf a long time ago, but then I never tried making it again. But yeah, meatloaf is not my thing. Because mm -mm. everybody makes it so differently, and it never tastes good for the most part. Again, my I think my aunt is the only person who has made meatloaf that tasted good. Pie. Any type of pie. Apple pie. 
sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie, peach pie, cherry pie, blueberry pie. I did not like any of it. The only pie that I liked was the silk pie. And I think that was, it was like Baker Square or what was it, Farmer Jack? Ugh. I used to love the Farmer Jack grocery store. They really went under. It's crazy how a whole grocery store is just gone. But anyways, I absolutely loved Silk Pie, but I only liked it because it was basically chocolate and whipped cream. So anything else, I was not touching. Greens, mustard greens, collard greens, mixed greens. I was not messing with greens. I did not like the smell. I did not like the taste. You could season it all you wanted to. I did not like them. Greens is actually something that I recently started liking, and this has happened within the past five years literally past five years when i was a kid absolutely not as an adult the palate is a little a little more cultured a little more aged if you will but back in the day mm -mm. the smell when i smelt it i was like i cannot believe they about to have me try to taste this i used to throw away every plate every plate with it in there i would scoop it push it around to the side and make it look like i ate some did not did not eat near a green leaf in that plate, but that's just me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below, what was a food or what were some foods that you guys didn't like? Do you guys relate to any of the foods that I mentioned? Because I was not messing with a lot of foods when I was a kid. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you guys check out my other Revisiting the 90s videos in that playlist, which will be linked in the description box as well as will be on the screen. But I'll be seeing you guys again soon. Stay blessed, stay positive. Bye.